Good morning, Pisces, and welcome to your April 2nd <laughs> message. Pisces, I can't tell you how many times I've started this, and I don't know why, but I'm stumbling over my words terribly. I have, uh, whoa, I apologize. So I did actually shuffle the cards a bit. So we're actually going to take the cards that came up face first. Uh, a throwback to my Sunday Angels and Spells. We are using the uh, Angel Tarot by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. And your two cards of Pisces are the Seven of Water, a complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. So Seven of Water is the Seven of Cups and it's that confusion. It's the not having clarity. But it's not just having uh, confusion or it could be having too many options. But in this case, it, it's, it, it's that you are putting off making the decision. You have not really sat down and done your due diligence, as they say. And this is what needs to happen. Your next card was the Knight of Earth. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Really interesting because this one supports this one. <laughs> Honor your commitments. Do what you're supposed to. Get things done. Stop procrastinating. Stop putting things off. You know, I, I understand completely. You have no idea. It's been very difficult to move along, but I'm thinking now that Mercury is uh, moving forward, I don't know when the retro shadow ends, but hopefully it's soon and we can move forward because Gemini and Pisces seem to have some similarities, in my opinion. Now, I also have the Oracle of the Unicorns because, well, they're pretty. <laughs> and I love unicorns. Discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. I have to say that this again, stay true to what you know. All is not what it seems. And what I say, the seven of cups is confusion, not being able to see clearly. And this one talks about on your commitments, time to buckle down and get things done. So Pisces, whatever you've been putting off, don't. But don't broadcast your dreams, your thoughts. I feel like what this is saying is don't just honor your commitments, honor yourself. Don't, I know this is going to sound funny. I don't know if you, you know this word flippant. That's the word that's coming to my head. Don't be flippant about your dreams, about what's going on in your life. Keep some to yourself. I don't know why that's important, but apparently it is. Um, I don't know. But the world is a weird place right now, I have to say. I, I'm filming this on the full moon, and I have to say I, I had a very peculiar day. People weren't them, weren't what I would know them to be themselves. Okay, so let's get you a Law of Attraction card, Pisces. Five. Four. Whoa. That's an awful lot of cards, but let's go with it. Why not? <gasps> Awareness. And awareness. When I focus on positive energy... I am aware that I attract more of it. So in that confusion, in that inability to move forward, that stuck, confused, procrastinating energy, remember that if you focus on the positive, you know, focus on, well, when I get this done, I don't have to worry about it anymore. It won't be hanging over my head anymore. I'll have finished my commitments and I'll be done with it. Believe me, I understand this concept all too well. Faith. Have faith that I can manifest the wealth and prosperity that I desire. And maybe that's what this is talking about because this these cards always do make me think of dreamscapes because they have, it's almost like somebody took paper pictures and just stuck them together. There's a, a surrealness about them, which I relate to dreams. So when you're dreaming, keep it to yourself. Believe in your ability to manifest. You know, I had an experience today, as a matter of fact, with a, we'll say, I say a so-called friend because friends don't, pardon the expression, poo-poo on what you got to say. 
If you have something to say, they don't say, oh, it's never going to work. I don't believe you're going to do it. Listen, if you're doing something drastic, if I say, I'm going to win the lottery, I'm going to win a million dollars. So today I'm going to go out and spend, you know, I'm going to max out all my credit cards. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not what I'm talking about. But when people just shut you down, sometimes it's best to keep it to yourself until the manifestation comes about non-attachment i am certain that i will reach my goal while letting go of how it will happen manifestation so i know that you have things to get done you're having a hard time getting them done you're not see you don't seem to be able to manifest them completing and this is saying you can you got to believe generosity Money is positive energy and it flows to me generous. It flows, wait, I'm sorry. It allows me to be generous to others. Very Piscean. But I, I think this is all saying, this is all about manifesting. This is about having belief and faith. But I think the very first thing you have to do is get clear on what you need to do. What is the goal that you need to reach? Figure out what the goal is and maybe work backwards. Believe that you can. And then say, well, if I were or when I do, because in law of attraction, you want to be in the moment, not it will, because then it's always in the future. It's never actually going to happen. So practice that law of attraction believe it's in the here and now. I have manifested this phenomenal goal. I am successful. I have been successful at such and such because I, and now work backwards. What did you do to get there? What do you believe would make you successful? Or as I say, give it up to God, your higher power. Don't worry. And one of the cards actually said, don't, don't worry about the how, just believe it is. Feel it, think it, believe it, Pisces, and you'll be shown what to do. I know that sounds really crazy, but I'm serious. <laughs> so thank you very much for being here, Pisces. I wish you a wonderful week. Thank you for being here. If you enjoyed the reading or if it resonated, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know when I release a new video. Thank you. Bye-bye.